You throw her here with the great Robert Matura from Roseville area here in Minnesota. 1535, uh, moving up from third uh, to win uh, the boys' championship race this time at the 38th Roy Griak Invitational. Uh, obviously, I knew that Sean was going to you know, want to test himself a, a little bit. Certainly, the recent Eastman Zuber you know, comes over here, and so many of the guys from out of state is to measure themselves against you. You know, whether Manny's in the race or not, you still yeah. are. Sean still is. Uh, how much do you feel like your patience was rewarded today? I think it well, it was rewarded big time because I won the race, and I think that's what cross country is about. It's hard to compare times, especially with this course being a little bit long and the weather fluctuates every year and it's super hilly. So, you know, it's hard to compare times, and so I think um, I'm really happy that like how I stacked up against all this competition here today. Most definitely, w was the discussion uh, ahead of the time like. You know, because you know the, uh, this course so well, and you know it was favorable conditions, which obviously you haven't had. You know, here throughout the entirety of your career at Les Polstad, like so, was there a kind of a you know definitive you know opportunity to move, or was that more on instinct and feel? Um, I think it was definitely on instinct and feel. I knew that I wanted to not start out in the front, and I knew someone was going to be in front because everyone goes out really fast and so um, honestly me being in fifth at the mile was a little bit closer to the front than I thought I would be but then there was a huge gap and so I still had a lot of time that I needed to make up um, but I think in the end it, it did work to my favor even though the conditions weren't perfect today it's pretty hot out right it's also windy but would, um, would, would, would you prefer it to be colder and rainier and muddier um, no I because I, I know you thrive no, in all of it no I mean I prefer this okay. probably but um, but it still wasn't it just, like pristine. No, it's not. It, it is what it is. You got to race on the day, and and everyone's dealing with the same conditions. So, um, yeah, I think for sure my patience was definitely rewarded, and you know the gap was eight seconds for a decent amount of time, and so there's always that little bit of doubt that goes through your mind. But I just had to stay strong and and know that I that I was just gonna be strong on those hills and, and move up over time. Obviously, your performance here last year was foreshadowing an absolutely brilliant year, but especially. You know, being a year older, a year, a year wiser, you know, more fit, just, you know, more kind of tactically aware. Uh, yeah. Like, is this just, you know, su such a blessing for you and something that's really significant to say that, you know, I'm, I know you want to be an NXN champion, but to forever be a Roy React champion, that's a good place to be on September 20th. Like, is that really significant yeah. for you? Yeah, I mean, last year, besides NXN, this was the only race that I didn't win, and I got third. So I think to come here and, and win that is a real confidence booster. You know, despite the time being slower, I had no one in front of me this time, so a little bit less competitive and a lot hotter than last year. So I'm really thankful for this uh, win, and I'm just going to take it and keep going with the season. It's a long season, and just use it to build my confidence. Obviously, you can only be the best version of Robert Ventura, but does, does it excite you that, you know, guys like Sean and, and others, like, you don't have to wait to a Heartland, you know, or a yeah. race like this to find a Manny, to find a Juan, to find, you know, guys from, you know, Wisconsin, South Dakota, Kansas, whatever. Like, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, Sean wants to be the best person of himself. You want to be the best person of yourself. Is that good for the state? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm really thankful for it. I think running is about testing, like, your own limits and seeing how far you can take yourself. And when you're alone, it's really hard to do that um, just because your body doesn't want to let you. But when there's someone in front of you to chase down, that, that really helps. And so he was that man today, and hopefully he'll be closer to me at state and we can just push each other and, and run some good times together. Awesome, man. Fantastic effort. Uh, couldn't happen to a more uh, deserving uh, student athlete. Uh, and stay healthy. Wish you the best luck going forward. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.